Drawing guides are basically lines that will appear on your screen that allows you to move them unlike grid lines. You can't move grid lines around, but drawing guides you can. You can have a line that's horizontal. You can move up and down. You can center it right here so you can actually align your other objects off of it or vertical. To turn them on, you can do it one of two ways. You can come up here on the Home tab, go to the Drawing group, and click on the Arrange button because what we're trying to do is get to the Align option so we can pull up the grid settings, which is also found when I click off when you select one of your objects, images, or shapes and come to its Related Format tab, and then go to the Arrange group, click on Align, go down to Grid Settings. Now in this setting, it not only covers the guides but also the grid. So think about the last training video. If you haven't watched it, you may want to watch it. But once you go to the View tab and check Grid Lines, it'll show it there or you can display the grid on the screen here. An option to that here is that you can change the spacing. So 0 0.083 inches here for spacing between the grid here. But since we've already looked at that, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it and not mess with this for now and let you play around with your grid spacing. We also had snap object to grid. Again, we covered that. You have snap objects to other objects. That just means that if you check this and I move an object close to another one, as soon as it gets close to that object, it snaps it right to its border. That way you don't have to click and drag and try to put it right on the border next to the object, if that was my intent. But it's not, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. So the whole purpose here was to display drawing guides on the screen. So I go ahead and check that box and then click OK and it will display a horizontal and vertical line. Last thing I want to show you before I click OK is it's set as default, meaning that every time I open up PowerPoint, it's always going to be default to display grid lines on all my uh, slides. But I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to go ahead and click OK, and there are my drawing guides. So I have a vertical drawing guide, and I have a horizontal drawing guide. What I can do is I can click, and if I do this right, if I can get right on that drawing guide, the moment I click, you know you did it correctly when your pointer turns into a 0, 0.00, at least to begin with, because it's, it's at the 0 point on the horizontal axis. Then I can click and drag it down and put it, well, I'm going to try to put it right in the middle here, because the whole point being is I want to be able to take these other shapes here and align it off of that drawing guide. So I can use my mouse to click and drag to pull them down and it snaps right to it, which is nice. Click and drag and pull it down, snaps right to it, it's nice. Now what if I didn't want it snapped right to it? In other words, the center point or the middle point of the shape is not where I wanted it. Well, you can, again, click and drag if you don't like the snapping thing. Clicking and dragging may not work for you because it kind of jumps, doesn't it? It wants to jump around that drawing guide. Well, you can move the drawing guide if you want, but let me show you a few other options that you have. Aside from the arrow keys that you can snap to it and move up and down, if you hold down the control key, and use your arrow keys, it'll actually move your shapes more minutely than if you just clicked and dragged, which I don't know about you, but clicking and dragging takes a lot of control over that mouse to get those movements so minute. Where holding down the control key and using the arrow keys works a lot better for me. So clicking and dragging, using the arrow keys, holding down the control key and using your arrow keys will move it very minutely, your shapes. So I can just go ahead and click and drag and pop it right back and click off in a blank area and it looks good. I can also click and drag my, my vertical line around if I needed to use it. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. If I need additional guides, then you want to do this. Click on one of them until it actually changes your pointer into you know, a readout here of where it's at along the horizontal axis. Hold down the control key and then drag. Remember, the control key, when you hold it down, creates duplicates. If you watch the earlier training videos, go ahead and let go of the mouse. Now I have two drawing guides. Click on again, hold down the control key, now I have three. So how do I get rid of them? Well, I guess you could go ahead and it would take forever, I suppose, if you had many drawing guides on your screen. Click and drag them off. I mean, they disappear, right? But probably the easiest way to do it, instead of trying to hover over such a tiny line and clicking and dragging, is to come up to the drawing group on the home tab and click on the arrange arrow, go down to a line and then go over to your grid settings and then just uncheck display your guides on the screen and click OK and it gets rid of all of them. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.